I'm John Hedengren, BYU professor, NCAA All-American. I was inducted into the BYU Hall of Fame. Have children who love to run as well. We've shared that. Isaac, NCAA, third place as a team, and also 13.46 5K as a freshman. Here's Jane in the Brooks PR mile from last year as a sophomore up against some of the best talent in the U.S. And here you can see them starting the mile. They went out very fast, great athletes in this race. And Jane just it was in third place here, just stuck with the leaders. And then that final home stretch, she went by the leaders and broke the tape, finishing first place in this national championship competition. Now, one of the things that I loved about this race was after the finish, she's talking to the official and sees her time there on the board and is uh, completely surprised, 4.35 for the mile. And as a sophomore and uh, has done very well with running and is going to be competing again this year in some of the national championship competitions. But it hasn't always been a smooth ride. Uh, she had a hip problem and went to a physical therapist. The physical therapist looked at her running form and gave her some strengthening exercises to strengthen her hips and help to avoid that running injury. Now, one of the things that we've done by going to the physical therapist, we learned some of the techniques and the analysis. But what we wanted to do was take that analysis and create an artificial intelligence uh, camera app that can do a lot of that same analysis on athletes outside of the physical therapist's office and be able to give the type of information to athletes so that they can take their performance up to the next level. So this is Jane running with Isaac here on one of their speed workouts. And you can see Isaac's hip drop analysis there. One of the things that the physical therapist recommended were these band exercises. So just side to side steps uh, with a band, nice and slow, just stepping one after the other for side steps. So that's the very first one. And then you also see a series of other exercises that will be shown here by MacGyver and Jane. Uh, MacGyver is the Timview High School coach and founder of Alpha Peak, who's helped in developing some of this technology. So we thought, can we take that type of analysis and be able to give expert recommendations to athletes so that we can democratize the data, democratize the, the analysis, get that into everybody's pocket who has a cell phone. Okay, so you're gonna see some of this technology also introduce a BYU injury study where we're trying to correlate running form analysis and uh, other questions on this questionnaire with uh, injury rate. So uh, trying to take a scientific approach to using these type of data to help athletes remain injury free and also unlock additional performance. So one of the things that we did with this is we went into the lab and analyzed with a motion capture system and compared that motion capture system to this AI form analysis and found the parameters that allowed us to be achieve a certain amount of accuracy that we needed in order to uh, get the angles we needed and other things about a runner's form. So we've verified much of this in the lab. Uh, and then these are the strengthening exercises. Uh, now Jane has continued to do well. She's, uh, you know, Every runner has nagging things that come up, but as they do, we try to get her to a physical therapist. And then also as we learn from physical therapists and others, try to develop this into the app to be able to give that kind of analysis to other runners as well. So uh, Jane's done very well at the Utah level, setting state records and continuing to perform at a very high level. And this is something that uh, we feel is, you know, for runners, there's a lot of information out there online about training, about nutrition, and other things. And we want to try to give some of the expert advice from physical therapists. So if you go to alphapeak.io and then slash study, you can participate in this study that I mentioned. So you'll have some waivers. If you're a minor, there'll be some additional waivers for parents to sign. Uh, now you need to be able to run 
for 30 seconds at an eight minute per mile pace and fill out a questionnaire. And so once you submit these, there's also consent to use video recording as well. Okay, and you click OK, name, email, okay, a series of questions about you, the type of training you're doing, and then also an injury history as well. So uh, what types of injuries you've had over time, and we're going to try to use this form analysis to correlate to running injuries and see if we can determine with a large-scale study, thousands of participants, what types of things we can analyze and deduce from just the running form okay so if you want to come here as well there's alpha form you can get started this is just with your cell phone or on a computer you can analyze legs hips or arms and the angles on those go to the next step as well okay and then you can say legs arms or hips I'm going to select hips for this one and then choose a file and then click submit so let's say you're Tom Cruise and you submitted the video, you can analyze your form, be able to accomplish even greater feats of sprinting, but most people are not like Tom Cruise, especially beginner runners. They start out and uh, sometimes they lose a shoe or they're just inexperienced in many other ways. I coach a Roadrunner Junior Club and this has been how I try to inspire athletes is with expert coaching and we have some fantastic coaches as part of the team, Olympians, uh, NCAA runners, and moms and dads who are just interested in helping these athletes. So we want to be able to give them the best advice that we can, especially as they're starting out. You know, moderation and training, not overtraining, but also just the right things to be able to strengthen certain muscles and other things to keep them injury free. Now among runners between 19 and 79 percent get injured every year from running. It's a very high injury rate sport. Uh, just the repetitive motion of running causes these injuries and one of them in particular is this one that Jane struggled with was the hip problems and it was due to excessive hip drop and weakness in the hips. So we want to analyze this contralateral hip drop, the angle of hip drop from side to side as athletes are running and be able to do that on the roads, on the grass, on some place that isn't necessarily a high-tech lab and do that with AI. So this is the running team, some of the young athletes, they're just enjoying running, getting familiar with the sport and uh, just getting started. And so I want to give them some great advice and I'll show you some of the results that we took today, in fact, uh, from one of our practices. We've got athletes that are just taking minutes and minutes off of their personal records and uh, just doing fantastic. Um, and so here's our elite division for the mile, for example. Okay, so just some of our athletes, um, you know, elementary and middle school ages. Uh, for those that are interested, we practice Monday, Wednesday, Friday in Provo, and uh, we're always in search of great coaches. And if you have an athlete that wants to run with us as well, we'd love to have them join us for the workouts and races. So uh, I just want to show you as well some of the results that we generated. Here's our team, uh, a lot of fun working with them. So this is this morning, you can see here, we want to try to keep below seven degrees on the contralateral hip drop for these athletes. So anything that shows green, that's below the seven degree mark. Uh, and ideally for men, it's going to be lower than five degrees contralateral hip drop. Uh, some of the studies suggest that up to 40% of running injuries are due to excessive hip drop. It puts a strain on the IT band, on the lower back, on the hip muscles as well, and that repetitive motion of dropping too far on each side is caused by that weakness in the hips. So as athletes, uh, you could think, well, maybe I'll just change that by thinking about it and changing my running form. Well, one of the things that we've 
seen from studies is that runners tend to just run most efficiently and the best way naturally. And so what we do instead is we strengthen key muscles in the hip area so that runners then naturally change their running form. So they become stronger, they have less hip drop, and they stay more injury free and run more efficiently as well. Okay, so I'll just uh, you know, make a couple other observations as we go through this. You can see some runners where it might spike up into the red. Uh, they might have just hit a bump in the ground, or maybe there's some inaccuracy. Also, you see some, you know, loose clothing that might also affect some of the accuracy of this. We've done a lot of verification from the side on treadmills. Uh, you know, from the front, um, we haven't done as much verification here, so we're still working on that, still a, a work in progress. But one of the things that you can look at is if you slow the video down and you look where the two knees cross each other, you can see one knee, if it's lower than the other, then that suggests there's a lot of hip drop. Versus if the two knees are almost equal with each other, then it suggests that runner has stronger hips and is able to prevent that side of the body that they're carrying, that they're, where their foot is off the ground, they're able to, to keep that up and not drop as low on that. And so we want to watch for runners who have excessive hip drop, especially if it's just on one side or the other. And then work with them like I showed in those videos those band exercises to help strengthen those hip muscles okay so uh, we've got some great athletes here all of them aspiring uh, to greatness working really hard and it's just been a real pleasure uh, working with them um, also appreciate your attention during this presentation uh, just really appreciate the opportunity to talk at the Utah Valley Marathon Symposium uh, with some other great speakers as well. We've got Connor Mance, we've got others, and appreciate uh, the opportunity to be able to share the stage with them. Also, just really want to appreciate uh, Ian Hunter uh, from the BOU Biomechanics Lab and uh, Luke, his graduate student who's working with them on this study. They're doing all of the hard work on analyzing the data, doing the verifications, doing the motion capture system, evaluating different types of technology, and how we can get this out of the lab and uh, get this into the hands of people everywhere. Also, MacGyver Clark, I'll just say a little bit about him as well. He's the one that I've jointly developed some of these things with. Uh, he's a coach at Timview High School, former Roadrunner coach as well, and really trying to take data and data analysis and apply that uh, to his runners. And you've seen from the Tipview High School team, uh, in the last three years, they had seven runners qualify for state, and then 15, and then 28. Uh, and they've won the state championship two years in a row, and it's really looking like a program that's having just a major impact in terms of the running scene in Utah. And so him and Coach Jamie and others and Alex and others who are just really having this impact really trying to use data-driven methods with their athletes, analyzing workouts, doing form analysis, uh, really working on the little things, but also the strength training during the off-season so that runners run with fewer injuries and are running more efficiently. So this whole paradigm of using data better, using data analysis, and helping runners, especially as they're developing, uh, in this really critical and pressurable time where they need this good coaching that can help them uh, with the best, ad best advice, best, um, you know, best training and best strengthening exercises. So um, anyway, just uh, I'll let this video run. These are just some of the athletes. You can see some of them, uh, you know, excellent running form. Many of them, you know, a little bit of strengthening is really going to help them. Uh, develop as athletes and as runners. So uh, thanks for your attention and uh, please reach out with any questions or comments. Also, we'd love to have you submit your own video and be part of the BYU 
running study as well. 